Today, we're going to build a Super Star Destroyer using 23 LEGO pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. The thing about a Super Star Destroyer is that even in micro scale, it needs to be huge. So I'm going to grab these 12 by 3 wedge plates for the kind of the base of my Star Destroyer, my Super Star Destroyer, and I'm putting them together like this. And I'm going to hold them together with a 2 by 8 plate. And I'm going to put that 2 by 8 plate right here where the four studs across begins. You've got kind of two studs across and four studs across. Well, I'm going to put that right where the four studs across begin and that's gonna give me a little bit of an overhang here. The reason I have that overhang is because unlike a regular Star Destroyer which is more triangular, the Super Star Destroyer actually has this kind of like little bubble at the end and to create that at the end I'm gonna grab this wedge plate here and stick it so those back two studs just go right underneath that 2 by 8 plate I just put on. Here we've got kind of a secure base for our Super Star Destroyer. Now, the next thing about Super Star Destroyer is these things basically had cities on top. So I'm going to use this 2x8 plate that I put down as my city's base, and that's going to be kind of my guide. And Now, the one thing is, now, the base of the city isn't just a straight line and stops. It kind of comes to an angle and a little bit of a curve. So to create that effect, I'm going to grab these little pie-shaped tile pieces and put them at the very tip where, those one by, where the two studs across begin. So it kind of creates a... Um, a circular front so it, it's not as harsh of a line I, I think it looks a lot nicer and the reason I'm using black is because I'm going to create my city using black pieces to differentiate the colors also some silver pieces uh, maybe some printed tile pieces but I really want to get a different look for the city and all the different buildings that are on top of this super star destroyer and now so to continue the city part here I'm going to just grab these are the the hodgepodge of pieces I have you don't have to use these use what you have laying around what you think looks good but just kind of give you an idea of what these are going to look like so here I've got a, a one L bar with a one by one round plate I'm just going to put it so that the stud goes uh, the plate goes on that stud and then the bar kind of goes across that black piece that I added on because it just kind of creates a shadow effect and I think it looks nice. Um, next to that I'm actually going to get a roller skate, a little roller skate I have going around and I discovered I kind of got these laid out so I can get it somewhat close to what I, I figured out because I was taking pieces off and on and just figuring it out but if I put the roller skate straight it doesn't, I can't get a, a piece here so I'm going to put it in an angle and then hopefully be able to get that um, plate behind it on but what I'm using behind it is just a one by one round translucent black tile piece and put it on look my skate doesn't fit so now I'm gonna take that skate off I'm gonna put that stud on right there that tile, translucent black tile piece and then put my skate on again so you know do things in different orders play around with it here I'm putting it on at a better angle and there now I've got a nice little front to my city now next to that translucent round tile piece those little joystick pieces or lever pieces, well this just doesn't have the lever, it's just the ball with a little hole in it. I'm going to put that right next to that tile piece I put in and behind the bar piece like this. And then after that I'm going to get a long grill piece, kind of a silver, just put it right behind that translucent tile piece like this and you can kind of see how that uneven city is coming to life. And then next to that I'm going to grab a one by one tile with clip on top to kind of create towers of, a, of a skyscrapers. Then behind that, I've got a little uh, pin piece here, a little pin, put that next to the grill and that clip piece, see how that city of our Star Destroyer is coming to life. Next, I've got a translucent slope piece, translucent black slope. I'm going to put it so that the thin end is down and it goes up towards the center. And then next to that, I've got a one by one round tile piece, just a little silver print on that. I like the effect. And now here's where you do have to follow along. Now, all this stuff, you don't have to use these pieces. Use what you want to create the city. But back here on the one, two, three studs in the back, you're going to get a one by two, and I'm using black uh, jumper plate. And you're going to put that right here. Now, for me, the Super Star Destroyer was always darker than a Star Destroyer, a normal Star Destroyer. So I'm using dark bluish gray. But if you want to use light bluish gray, you can, and then you can kind of put some dark gray colors here. That's fine. But like I'm using a black to continue the city. And then behind that jumper plate, again, this is where you can vary and do what you want to do. I've got this little printed kind of half circle. I think I have this like a carburetor to a motorcycle print piece. I'm going to put it so the round part is near the edge and it flattens off from the back. I've got a translucent one by one. Uh, plate piece. I like this because that stud kind of gives it a little depth as opposed to tile pieces which are flat. 
Um, then the back two studs here, I've got a one by one round plate with hole in it. It's gonna put there in the back. And then I've got a full lever stick, a full joystick. You got the, the base and the lever, and I'll put that here. And now I cannot, when I put it on, I can't have it sticking straight up because that's just too tall for this micro scale build. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the lever down and have it go across that printed tile piece and again just giving texture to our super star destroyer now the reason we use this jumper plate here is this is where our tower to our super star destroyer is going to be and to create that tower we're going to use a one by one round plate and put it right there on top of the jumper plate in the center and then on top of that round plate we're going to get another round plate but this one has to have a hole in the center now the reason we have that hole in the center is because our final piece is gonna be this one by two plate. And those studs are gonna act as like the uh, the shield generators to our Super Star Destroyer that the A-Wing hits. Because the size of these Super Star Destroyers dwarfed the tower. So you can get away with it, I think. So there's that little hole or that anti-stud in the middle of our one by two plate. That anti-stud is going to go into the hole of our one by one round plate like this. And now we've got a Super Star Destroyer for Darth Vader and the Empire to search for the Rebel Alliance all over the galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and you can click on the image to watch another video. Until next time, let's keep building together.